think I've always carried that sense that the studio is a place where I can go, I can lock the door, there's no internet, there's no phone. And it's just like a space apart from being in the world. And then in that space, I can do things because I still have this attraction to the material world. Like I still really like the pencil crayons and what type of paper. And I go there and I can bring whatever it is that I'm thinking through or working through in terms of art, but also in terms of relationships in life and put them there and see if anything will come of it. I've been working with words for a long time. And then I started to think of these municipal laws. You can't sit on the grass, you can't put your feet up on the bench. There's a million things that you cannot do, but there's also these other laws that will protect you to a certain extent. And I felt like we didn't know about them. That's where I started looking more at the charter. Charters are actually written as a way for people to have some sense of power in relationship to other laws and to governments. So I would choose either one person or four people to carry the charter. And the Quebec Charter is beautiful, it's beautifully written. And these people are responsible for choosing a section that they feel resonates with them. And then I give the charter to the team through a transfer agreement. So then the team becomes the owner of this plywood and they decide where they will take it. The sitting project was the one where it became very clear that I was causing anxiety in the people who generally use that space. I use Cabot Square as my sitting location and I would go and I would sit and then uh, at some point I would take out an orange and I would peel the orange and I would put the orange peel back in the bag and I would use that orange peel as my document of my presence at the park. So it's just those little micro movements that are outside of expectations where you suddenly become aware of yourself and everybody becomes aware of you in a slightly different way. I was so ecstatic to have this gift of like looking at Yoko Ono's work and how we could approach her work in a workshop. Just this opening of possibles that she brings through this super simple but super poetic uh, way. The grapefruit, for me, totally corresponded to my orange, like oh, how we have this similar attachment to something in the world that is fairly common and sensual and uh, evokes, you know, there's the tactile, there's the smell, there's the taste, and just all the sensualness of uh, peeling and then breaking the segments off and it's, yeah. There's so much pressure on how we're supposed to be and most of it has to do with being like very productive in the world. I think if we do take time to sit and just be with each other, more, that then we'll have a lot better idea of where we are and where we actually want to go.